morning, Pastor Steve here. Galatians 4, 8 through 11. How be it then, when you knew not God, you did service unto them which by nature know gods. But now, after that you have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn you again to the weak and beggarly elements when do you desire again to be in bondage? You observe days and months and times and years. I'm afraid of you, lest I have bestowed upon you labor in vain. Why, Paul wonders here, do you want to return to the heavy burdens laid upon you by the law? It's not wrong to have a holiday or a special commemoration, but it is messed up to think that it gives you a special acceptance with God or that it's mandated for a Christian. You are fruity in Christ. No bondage to the elements of the law. Christ has become your final rest. You don't need another list of rules. You need to be guided by the freeing spirit of God. Steve Brown writes that Paul warned Timothy to be careful about those having the appearance of godliness but denying his power over in 2 Timothy. We can get interested in, in having right teaching, and, and we should, and right living and, and right worship, but we can lose the power of Christ to become just cold, formal, proper, and he puts it uh, a, a grave, a mausoleum. I mean, you know, Jesus doesn't want us to be pompous religious people. Um, he spoke strongly about it. In fact, he said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. You're like whitewashed tombs. Outwardly appear beautiful, but inside is nothing but dead people's bones and uncleanness, over in Matthew 23. Steve Brown again. There's real freedom in Christ, freedom to live, yes, but even freedom to blow it. It isn't about simply doing good or bad, it's about being alive or dead. When we were moving from uh, Newport to Greenville, my wife had a horse that had been given to her. His name was Troika, and we had about a half, three quarters of an acre of land um, fenced in with an electric fence. And the horse would come up to the edge of the fence, and he knew where it was. We were getting ready to move, getting ready to take him up to our new home, and I went around and shut off the fence and wound the fence wire all up. Just wound it all up. And I looked, and there's the horse. He's come up to the edge of the fence. He's hanging his head over where the edge of the fence would be. Not outside of it. Eating the grass on the outside, as he was wont to do when the fence was there. The fence was gone. But he was still trapped in the idea that that fence was there. Listen to me. Just like he couldn't imagine that that fence was gone, we can be just like that. We're set free in Christ. The fence is gone. But we are held captive by the thought of that old fence. We think that we somehow have to do something to be accepted by God when he did everything that was essential that we might be accepted by him. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.